three under two. And just like that, we are leaving Barrack Heights. So we're hitting the road again, and we're gonna be traveling about four and a half hours south, and we're gonna be camping. So we haven't camped since Jarrah Vale, and we've got some mixed feelings about it. It's gonna be a lot colder this time camping on this trip, and hopefully we don't run into any bad weather. But the spot that we've got is absolutely amazing, and we're looking forward to exploring it. <laughs> setting up our tent we're still to cook dinner and make beds and things it was pretty hectic coming in there was like no spots left and people weren't really willing to let up any space fortunately we did um, meet a nice elderly gentleman and his camp were more than happy to welcome us and the camp next to us are being really friendly too so that's really good but that is one thing I do not like is when you don't have assigned camp spots it just makes it really awkward for people and it makes people take up a lot more than they actually need as well which can be a bit frustrating but it's fine we're here now and we're almost settled in so we're going to enjoy the rest of the night so we didn't get to film a whole lot only because we had a really crunch against the time um, the time it takes to set everything up get the beds ready and everything else before it gets dark we we're really under the pump so fortunately we got everything done the kids are fed we've got the fire going the tents up we've got bedding can't really see it at the moment but we've got bedding in the tent so we're all ready to go 
and uh, I guess we'll show you guys around tomorrow morning. It's a beautiful spot, like we can hear the waves just crashing on the beach just down there. And when I walked to the toilet, um, just like literally on the path, there was just four kangaroos just sitting there just feeding on the grass. So like that actually scared the bejeebas out of me. And, um, but yeah, I got the camera out and I got some lights and I couldn't really get them on camera. It didn't work out, but it was really good to see those kangaroos. Uh, the kids are really enjoying just uh, sitting by the fire, just having some marshmallows. It's just something that, you know, that they haven't really experienced much before because every time we've gone camping off the grid, it's fire ban and we can't have a fire, so they're really enjoying this. Hi, <laughs> <Aren't> Emily. <laughs> so yeah, I think we're in for a good night. It was a bit stressful coming in so late and finding a spot, but you know, we got there in the end. Alright guys, so it's about that time. We're gonna put the kids to bed. It's a little bit later than we like. It's nine o'clock, but yeah, I think we're a little bit unprepared for camping or camping off the grid in cooler weather on this trip. Last time we have been camping, it was in Queensland and we didn't need any cold or thermal sort of stuff. At the moment, like everything, the grass, the tent, everything is just so dewy and wet. And it's kind of reminded me of the Gold Coast all over again. But, you know, we're in Southern New South Wales. We're pretty close to the border to Victoria. So yeah, I mean, we'll just make the most of it. I mean, the fire that we had, they're still going at the moment. That was fantastic. In fact, like, you know, we got one bag of 15 kilos of um, wood. Tomorrow, we'll probably get two, two bags because, yeah, we're just being very stringent with it and we just want to just pack, pack the fire and just have a really, really good bonfire tomorrow. But until then, yeah. We're going to call it a day and we'll see you guys in the next adventure. Emily, you ready to go to sleep? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, good night. Until next time. Thanks for watching this video and if you want to support the channel, click the like button below. And if you want to see even more content, check out our Instagram, which is 3 underscore under 2.